Yeah, no, no so, but apparently it's actually good. So it's yeah. so good. And you know how yeah. I know it's good without even watching it? You have articles like this from fucking IGN, right? <laughs> Where they say an entertaining adaptation hindered by a desire to recreate every major event in its source material. Oh, what the fuck do you mean? Like, that that's what you're supposed to do. Well, what do you I want? hate IGN. Do? Not make a good the problem energy. right now. IGN has been want to be alive. faithful to the source material? That's funny. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know, uh, if you guys want, they can just do what the Rings of Power showrunners did. They kept saying, "Oh, we're going back to the book, back to the book, back to the book," and then two percent of the book is there. The book. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the thing, you know, and and they always. You're always going to get articles from show websites like IGN that are going to, you know, let's say the show is bad, yeah. right? Like it was notoriously mm -hmm. hated by people. You're going to get articles saying, oh, well, source material doesn't matter. It's all about mod modernizing, you know, whatever they're writing about or putting this on, on, on TV. Well, this is definitely not what the people want and not what the, what mm -hmm. the audience wants. We all know with right. IGN, what whatever they say, pretty much your media sure. buddies up there, but it's not mm -hmm. really what the People You're so them. right, Wyatt. What what you said uh, with IGN, yeah. like whatever they say, just do the opposite. Think the opposite because yeah. that's probably what the normal take is. You know, if yeah. they give something a seven, that means it's shit. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. If they give it a ten, you really need to run the fuck away. Yeah. <laughs> if they say, if they give it, a, you might want to check it out. It's probably pretty good. No, I um, saw the first episode. I really liked it. I mean, I was surprised because back then um, in Italy, this was a big show, and I was also reading the. You know the comic books and back in the days like to me this was one of the the biggest shows and i i really was looking out for for the adaptation whether or not kind of to roast it or to venerate it uh, or just to find it decent like at least decent and actually it turned out to be a great first episode i don't know how mm. it's um continue but the the first level really surprised me i the thing that surprised me the most is how they made the the, the translation because of course the comic books and the anime itself is very extreme and very, you know, kind of, you know, it's it's spongy. It's very elastic. It's it's very, you know, kind of outrageous in the way they're setting up the scene. Surreal. So how, yeah. So how to turn that into real life action? I thought they did a good job. I mm. thought it did a good job. It was pretty good. Like the actors are good. The story is, is of mm. course, the story and the world is pretty... Yeah. It's difficult. I mean, I'm, I haven't watched all the episodes, but I, I you know, exactly. This is a huge world. This is well, a, I, a gigantic. I was glad to be proven wrong because I thought Netflix were going to obliterate One Piece because of how they've managed to obliterate so many works that they've uh, gotten their sticky fingers into. I mean, The yeah. Witcher is a great example. Uh, yeah. But uh, it's good to see that this show is, is starting off with a bang. Hopefully, yeah, in three seasons' time, it will still be a ban yeah, and not be messed are, up. Right. The, the girl power is girl power. It's not exaggerated. The guys mm -hmm. aren't demasculated. There is, mm -hmm. at least as, as far as I can tell, like in the first episode, there is no hidden agenda going on. Mm -hmm. uh, the only agenda is right now, it looks like like entertaining people and, you know, making one piece that's it well the creator is at the yeah. core of this project so that is a mm -hmm. green flag rather than a red flag yeah mm. well it's that's like the thing if, if ichiro if ichiro really is um so invested in this live action i don't think you're really going to see a lot of the stuff people hate to see you know what i mean and, and i think cowboy bebop as much they want to it's weird because they want to say, oh, Cowboy Bebop taught us a lot, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but then when Cowboy Bebop was running and was live, they had the completely opposite mindset. Yep. They were attacking everybody who hated it. They didn't care whether you liked it or not. But all of a sudden, now that One Piece is out, before it releases, you want to say, oh, yeah, no, we learned a lot. You know, we yeah, learned a too. lot from uh, from. Yeah. Uh, Not people. only that, they have also <laughs> they they have the the balls to say, oh no, back then we knew that the stuff wasn't good. We just wanted to protect the material by attacking the fans. Yeah. It's like, oh, yeah. so yeah, yeah. this was a strategy. You know, that's great. Yeah, it never quite made any sense. But again, because each of those involved, I think that this is why um, it is the way it is. Now it's going to be hard. Always, and I've said this before, it's going to be hard to translate uh, a manga or an anime like One Piece to live action. And a lot of the stuff, some of the stuff will work. And I think they did what they could from the little scenes that I've uh, I saw. But there are certain things that are just not going to work and they're going to look a little yeah. weird and a little awkward. Yeah. But as long as they keep their keep their toes together and keep moving forward, I think it'll be I think it'll be fine. Just keep Netflix has to keep their corporate side out of it and let Ichiro kind of run the uh, no. 
Yeah, one yeah, hundred say. seasons, a yeah, hundred seasons of One Piece. <laughs> at this point, we're just happy if the showrunners make a half decent job, mm -hmm. right? At this point, yeah. like, at the, yeah, the, we've been like wish, disappointed, yeah. unfortunately, for the last I don't know twenty years, past twenty years, let's say fifteen at least. Well, like, that brings yeah. up my next question, though, Coach, because if yeah. if that if this is our mindset, like, oh, we're just happy that they actually put out something decent, mm -hmm. yeah. is everybody kind of cheering this show on because we've had such shit for such a long time? No, so standards are so low now. That's why I believe <laughs> yeah. what's good for you know, 2023 yeah. uh, would be bad in 2003. But I'd like to hear Beardo's take on uh, on this live action. Yeah, okay. yeah. So during COVID, me and my brother, we we binged the One Piece anime, mm -hmm. and uh, and I think Hypnotic had a point with the failure of Cowboy Bebop and um, the Death Note live action. What was that a Netflix original a few yeah. years ago? Yeah. So yeah. so just with so those bad. absolutely just like flopping, I think a lot of people are hesitant for this, seeing another beloved anime. Uh, getting a live action adaptation mm -hmm. and people are like holding their breath on Netflix got a hold of this how are they going to screw this up but one thing that we saw with Cowboy Bebop was that chick actress just completely slamming the fans about her outfits you know just saying oh, yeah. you know all, all that nonsense that she was doing and not only did that help derail the show the fact that the show was shit so with this it's amazing to see that you haven't heard any kind of controversy from the actors and actresses about this show speak up, start attacking the fans, get, getting angry with the fans, and then already starting off with a bad <laughs> note. You're seeing a lot of that going on with that new Snow White live action going on with Disney right now with Rachel Zegler just... just <sighs> and, and, and the movie is still like, what, 10 months away? we got a yeah. long time to go. And she's what? already no. pissing people off. It's so, they didn't cancel it? Uh, no, no. It, it, yeah. What's surprising <laughs> is, is that movie is getting a theatrical release. That's the it, moral oh, flash. Can't, can't, can't wait. It, yeah. Can't wait oh. to not watch it. I'm excited. Oh, to man, not can't watch wait to not watch it on a pirate site. <laughs> you know that actually yeah. that actually reminds me. Like I, I really thought that Snow White, uh, based on what you said, I really thought Snow White was going to be like uh, Peter Pan. I thought it was going to be a, a Disney, um, a Disney Plus streaming only right. kind of right. thing. But the fact so. it's actually coming out in theaters, I was like, oh wow! And guess. like uh, Pinocchio oh, and everything like that. Girl, they can can it. Oh. Yeah, just. Put, I think part of the, the reason why, though, Beardo, a lot of people are not saying anything. Um, is number one, the show is actually getting good feedback, so they kind of right. they usually shut up around that point. But number two, right. even if they wanted to say something, I don't think they can. Because right. of the strike going on, I think they actually oh, have to oh, be quiet. Um, I was just gonna say, I don't know if you guys saw the video where um the dude that plays Luffy went to actually meet Oda. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it was it was so wholesome. Like, I'm not even a one piece fan. I watched it. Like, I, I was getting like a little teary eyed. Mm -hmm. I was like, Oh man, that's so like that's such a nice, like, you know, meeting, mm -hmm. union, like Obviously, the dude that plays Luffy, he's truly passionate to play the character. Genuine. Wrote, like, yeah, it, it's genuine. It's nice. Authentic. And Oda, mm, although we don't see Oda's face, you could tell that, mm. that he's excited to see this dude portray Luffy because he was like, yo, when I looked at you, I'm like, yeah, he looks like the goofy motherfucker that I drew in Spitting the all these years. Mm. Yeah. Spitting and. And just watching, like, you know, um, the, the Luffy actor wrote, like, a little letter to him, and it was so touching. It was really, like, honestly, I'm not even a fan, and I want to watch it because of how wholesome that was. Well, I saw this yeah. on stream before, That's folks, cool. and they were a little close together. That was my only criticism, because oh I was on stream with Brandon, <laughs> the anime guy, and it was a bit touchy-feely, closey. In my that's way, just Japanese I'm, I'm, culture in general, bro. Like Eastern it is. culture, oh, like right. the, it's a way of showing down. that they really care about you. It's not inherently gay. Yeah. <laughs> just saying. He's looking at through the eyes of his European lenses. That's exactly. that's the problem. Right, right <laughs> lenses on the eye it's it's he doesn't this know what it's like to interact with way of thinking. Mm. I do love that they hide the mangaka's face with with the picture. I think that's pretty. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it's a big deal in Japan over there with like uh, these manga authors wanting to protect their uh, real I've identities seen. from the public. Like they go by mm. personas and everything. That's and that's oh. why like this law where they wanted VTubers to and some public uh, manga artists to post like their real pictures for certain like or real names for like certain tax documents yeah. blew out of proportion over there. But at the end of the day, like people over there kind of just adapt mm. and that's it. They move on. Yeah. Well, they're basically but, celebrities. You know what yeah. I mean? Like they they're, are, they're, yeah. they're that country's version yeah. of celebrities. I think they're probably some of the biggest celebrities in, in Japan. 
Yeah. Heavily I wouldn't... introverted ones, though. <laughs> well, I, d I don't want a man to ever look at me like that. <laughs> I don't think a man ever would, Brian. I don't Good. think you have to worry about it. I really don't. Oh. Let me play this scene real quick. Let's just see what they say. Gotta pause the copyright. Uh, so true. I guess he's a very big fan of him, huh? Like, yeah, and that's true. Like that's the that's cool. to me one piece is that it, like that extraction of that second. That is one piece. That that smile. Yeah. That uh huh. Un, undefinite. He looks like Luffy. Like he literally. Like, he, you know, he literally he is Luffy. Like yeah. I mean, this is one of the, the biggest compliments I think you could get from a fucking. Manga no, thing. and in yeah. Japan, that's a big fucking deal. Him saying that yeah, shit. Sure. Like he, yeah. he's yeah. not. He's not sugarcoating like some people do. You know, and in he interviews, really he is he being really genuinely serious about yeah. what he's telling this guy. It's just yeah. that people in the West are not used to getting like complimented this directly, but over mm, there is quite yeah. common. So. That's why I'm just saying it for context for those in chat that don't know this, how it works over there, is a very big deal, is what I'm trying to say. 